Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a request on how to move an object based off of the tilt on a um, phone or like iPad or something. This I'll be using Android because that's the only export I have, but yeah. Okay, so to start off we're just going to make a sprite. Let's just call it something like player, I guess, that'll work. And that's just going to be a uh, pretty basic 32 by 32 sprite. And it can just be a rectangle. Okay. And that's that. Then we can create a room now. So just make a new room. Settings don't matter too much. And then we want our object. So we'll create a new object and then we can give it our sprite. And then we can get down to coding it. Oh hang on, gotta name the object, so object player. And now we can go. Okay, so start off you want to create event and we're gonna add a little code block. And we're going to make a variable for our speed. So this will be the maximum amount of speed we can go to. So I'm going to write SPD equals, and I'm going to set mine to 10. You can set it to pretty much whatever you want, except 0, because that won't work out well. Um, then you want to go to step, and this is where we check the tilt and apply the speed and everything. Okay, so for moving left and right on a um, horizontal tilt, so if you've got your phone sideways moving left and right, it's just x plus equals device get tilt y. Now you might think it's x, so like you might think it would be x plus equals device get tilt x, but because we're going to be holding the phone sideways, we swap the values. Okay, so it is x plus equals to rise get to y, and then times your speed variable. And then if you want to be able to go up and down as well, then you'd write y plus equals to rise get tilt x times speed. But I'm just going to be leaving mine like that. Okay, and that is it. So what we've got to do now is chuck in your object and run it. Make sure you've got the export selected, so Android and hit play. Now I'll cut some footage of it, so I'm just going to pause this and bring it back. Okay, this is my one. So left, right, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so that was pretty quick, so what I'll do is I'll take you through making a platformer as well. Based off the tilt functions that is. Okay, so all we want to do is add in our wall sprite, so we'll call it SBR wall edit and again this is just going to be 32 by 32 sprite and just a rectangle color mine black just like that and then we want to make an object for it so obj wall make it solid and give it the sprite Okay, so we can go and chuck some of those in now, so if you just want to go object wall. Just kind of make a floor. And maybe a platform just up here to jump onto. Okay, and then you can put in your player as well. So I just put one there. Okay, now go back into your player. And we're going to set small variables. So, add on this, we just want to write grav equals 0 0.5. That's going to be my gravity. And jump equals 
let's say 10. Okay. Now, in the step event, I want to add in if place 3 x y plus 1 sorry, plus 1 then gravity equals grav else gravity equals 0 just like that now you might wonder why I'm using a variable for the gravity instead of just writing it in. Um, in the long run, using variables as your values makes the game easier to edit. So if you say didn't have enough jump power and you want to add more, instead of having to go like into the code and find the value that you want, you've got a variable for it so you can just go into the create event find where the variable is so just there and then you can just change that and it'll change it for you so it just makes the game easier to edit okay yeah so we've got our gravity just like that and we already have our sideways movement so now for jumping I'm just going to use a tap on the screen so go if um, place meeting X, Y, object, wall, and keyboard check. Oh, uh, sorry, not keyboard check. Um, we want mouse check, and then yeah, button, mouse check button, and then M B left. And if that's true, then V speed equals minus jump. So that. Okay, and that should be it. We just set a collision for the wall. And in that, we want to go move contact solid. And then for direction, the right direction, and four. And sorry, I forgot to move the V for that one. There it is. Okay, and then V speed equals zero. And that's your butt. Now, just to make sure it's working, I'm just going to run it on Windows. So it exports faster. Okay, so we click and for some reason that isn't working. Okay. Oh, that's it there. Now we're going to go Y plus 1. Uh, and this is why we test things. Okay, there it is. Alright, now we jump when we click. Okay, so now that I've got that, we can run it on Android again. Or iPhone, whatever you might be using. And it should work. Okay, here we go. So we've got left and right. And then when we tap, it jumps. So you can tap and hold on that and it'll just keep jumping. See if I can jump up onto that platform. There we go. Okay, so, yep, yeah, that's how you use tilt functions to move an object. Now, um, you don't have to use device get tilt y, you can use x, so it all depends on what you're trying to do. But, yeah, that's how it's done. Um, sorry about how long it took me to upload another video since last time I've been pretty busy lately and haven't really had the chance to do anything so yeah there's just a quick little thing to keep you guys going um, remember that if you've got any um, requests 
send them to me and I'll see what I can do. As I said, this tutorial here was a request from someone. I can't remember the name, but yeah. Um, Facebook page. I've got a Facebook page. Um, if you guys could like that, that'd be cool. If not, that's up to you, really. Um, subscribe, like the video, if you can. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.